Hey. Okay, uh, your name is? David Kuhn, leader of the Green Party in New Brunswick. And the by-election. Uh, Gallon won, big time. No surprise. Uh, PC finish in third. What does that say? I think the people of the riding were not happy with having uh, Jimmy Burke parachuted into their riding as a candidate. Uh, and so uh, the vote went to the NDP. It's interesting, when you look at the percentages, it's a mere opposite of what happened last time. The Liberals more or less the same. Uh, and the percentage vote for the NDP and the Conservatives just flipped. Um, so, uh, you know, I think people were unhappy, unhappy, and uh, they wanted to vote for a local candidate. Susan Levi Peters was definitely a local candidate, and uh, so uh, she uh, was the, people, the second choice. Not a rack in here. I thought I was the only freshman around. Okay. Um, David Alwyn never spent a cent, though, in the by-election. That's good. He could have made announcements. He could have pr promised this, promised that. Well, that's good. That's good. I remember Bernard Lord, the by-election. He spent about ten million dollars the by-election to St. John, St. John Arbor. Remember that? That's not the way we should do politics in no. Brunswick anymore. 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 Okay, that's good. Okay, so where where are you heading the next year? I'm uh, continuing on my new economy tour. I'm going to Rogersville tomorrow. Maryland economy Friday. tour. What's that? The new economy tour. What's that? It's, uh, I'm visiting enterprises uh, and projects and initiatives that are uh, focused on building a local economy that are greener, that are uh, fairer, um, trying to ensure everyone has a chance to uh, have some work. So uh, it's, it's been very interesting. Rogersville, I'm going to see Monsieur Tomat. I'm going to see uh, Tomat. Monsieur Tomat, Mr. Tomato. Mr. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to see a, a new uh, co op uh, daycare. In uh, Miramichi, I'm going to the Youth House, which is a shelter for uh, youth, and uh, Northumberland Dairy Co-op, uh, the Fisheries Co-op at um, Eel Ground First Nation, and I'm going to be at O'Donohue's Thursday night if people want to come and uh, hang out. What's your website? GreenPartyNB.ca. All the schedule is all there. Yeah. I got a question for you. Since you're the Green Party, what do you think of bicycle helmets, riding bicycles, and wearing a helmet? I wear one. You wear one. I wear one. Oh, yeah? Okay. I, <laughs> no I thought that was hard enough. No, no joke. No, I'm not wearing it now. I started wearing one after uh, my friend uh, had a bike accident. A van brushed against him, and he uh, that scared both of us. So. so, if the Green Party gets in power, you won't change the helmet law. Everybody should wear a helmet no matter what. Everyone should wear a helmet no matter what. That's bad. Because did you know Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and British Columbia are the only province that everybody's forced to wear a helmet? Yeah, well, I think, I think that's the right thing to do. But we're the fattest people per capita in Canada. Look, the evidence months? here, I haven't rode a bicycle in, in two years. Well, then you don't have to worry about the helmet law. No, but I mean, if people have the right to exercise, shouldn't they have the right to exercise if they want to, besides being hassled and arrested by the police if you exercise? Well, that's not the question. The question is should people have, uh, wear helmets, and they should wear helmets. Yeah, but well, some Absolutely. people can't afford a helmet. And, well, then we should fix that problem. Okay, why in Quebec there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people exercising with no helmet? Makes me nervous every time I visit. But they don't, they're not wearing a helmet. I worry about people having accidents and no helmet. In Montreal? Uh, yeah, oh, it's incredible. They, need to they don't wear helmets, right? Uh, well, there are some people who wear helmets. But they don't have when to. When I went to school in Montreal, I didn't wear a helmet either. But I was young and foolish. Yeah, but do you know when... How old are you, David? 56. I'm 53. So, uh, I never I never hear nobody got hurt when, well, I do. I when we were younger. I started talking about this friend of mine. I started how wearing old was a helmet. He? We, were, uh, we were 26, probably. 26. And uh, this was actually just before we were going to go biking on Cape Breton Island. And yeah, I was he, there. He uh, fell, well, a van hit him, brushed against him, and he fell on his head. And uh, he's fine now, but uh, we think. But uh, 
we started wearing helmets right after that. That was too too close to call. Too close. So uh, you don't think everybody, everybody should wear a helmet? You, yeah. You're you're happy with that one? I'm very, I'm happy with that. See, I could find a party. They'll say that people will be allowed to exercise without. Well, it's only five months a year. Yeah, people can actually do all kinds of exercise. Or just wear a, a helmet. Without a helmet. No, you can't ride but a bicycle. If you're gonna ride a bike, you need to have a helmet. How come you don't have to wear a helmet when you uh, ride ride on on a skateboard? Well, perhaps because not enough people ride skateboards for, for government to be paying attention to that. But They, uh, they line under a head well, all the time. I know, and, and kids on skateboards should wear helmets, yeah, too. helmets, too. I'm a big helmet guy. I see that. I see that. Time. To, okay, so when is your next uh, policy? Hel helmets fit on when, the head. When is your next policy convention? We can bring this issue up before the next election. Saturday. Last we just Saturday. Had How, last Saturday. Where was it? In Moncton? Fredericton. In Fredericton, was it where? At the uh, Christchurch Hall. Nobody told me how many people showed up there. Um, not enough. Not During enough. The snow, the supposed snowstorm. So you're doing good. You enjoy yourself. Uh, it's a it's a great great job to be able to work on behalf of New Brunswickers. I love it. Listen to people. Listen to different issues. I could. They couldn't pay me enough money to do that. No, I, it's, I, I love traveling around the province and meeting people, and hearing what they're doing, and sharing uh, my ideas too. So that's it. Any other issues? By election? No? Everything's fine. What's the house going to open again? Next week. Next week? Yeah. Thank you very much, David. Okay, nice.